All right, guys, so it's been two days since my last interview, and I just got to the airport, and we are going on the next interview. Uh, it's still raining. It hasn't stopped at all since the last time I was here, but today we're going to Philadelphia. Alright, so I just got to my hotel room, and of course, I'm early and it's not ready, so I'm gonna hang out in the lobby for like an hour and study, and then I'll give you guys a nice room tour. Alright, so I got bored of sitting inside waiting for my hotel room, so I'm gonna go venture out and see what old Philadelphia has to offer, and because I'm starving and I need to find something to eat. But of course, on the way, I happen to run across this store. And now I have to go in. All right, so I didn't buy anything, but I wanted to. Now let's get back to the food. So I'm walking on the college campus right now. And for those of you who don't know, I swam for, I don't know, like 18 years. And I can smell chlorine pretty much anywhere. And I know there's a pool around. And I just came across the fitness center. And that is where I was smelling that lovely chlorine smell that I'm all too familiar with. All right, so I think I found my place. This should do right here. Honey grow. It's time for a salad. In all seriousness, that place is legit delicious. I think it's just like one of those typical lunch chains, but man, it's good. Solid work. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. Now, I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask me where I'm interviewing at in PA. So I'll give you a little hint here. Uh, I'm not interviewing at this place, that's for sure. All right, so now I'm venturing back to the hotel. Hopefully my room is ready. And I think I'll maybe give you guys a little tour of the hotel and even show you what I pack on these interviews. All right, so I guess this is my room for the night. Just a little outdoor view of the gloomy weather. Not bad, not a bad room. All right, so let me show you guys what I bring on almost every single interview I go on um, with all my suit and all that stuff. So let's get to it. All right, so I have no idea how well this camera will stay, but. Let me show you what I get here. So first and foremost, I always bring two ties, usually a like slate blue or blue color and a pocket square, you gotta have that. Next, I have my belt, get that out of the way. All right, so, Some of you guys may call me weird, but I don't care because I always bring two white shirts because I'm always like super nervous about something happening or spilling something or a button falls off or something. And that's just not a good look. So this one's a little wrinkled. So is this one, I'll probably iron this one and have the other one as a backup. Just do a light little press. We'll be good to go. All right, next is my suit. I usually go for a like a navy, let's see if I can see this, it's like a navy blue suit. This one's a little wrinkled as well. I need to like steam it or something. So it's like more of like a light navy. You can't really tell when it's light. 
but um, not too dark. I hate when people wear black suits on interviews because, I mean, black suits are for funerals and like black tie affairs, tuxes, etc. So save the black suits for that. Let's not forget about these shoes. I usually wear this like, I've had these forever, but keep them nice and shine. Little straps on those, but I keep them nice and uh, shined up. And these are just like a burgundy or a dark brown. Uh, this, these are burgundy, but you can also wear like a dark brown with these as well. Nice and classic, nice and reserved, nothing standing out. I do put a little flare in my socks, but that's about it. I try to keep everything pretty simple and timeless when I do an interview because you don't want to stand out, but you also don't want to look like a slob. So look your best, wear a nice fitting suit with a white shirt, and that should do it. So it's about 4 p.m. now, and I'm just going to look over some interview stuff, my application, and probably just study the rest of the evening, grab something to eat, then go for my interview first thing in the morning at 7.45. All right, so I kind of lied. I decided to go out and get some snacks because I'm a little hungry, but that salad like filled me up completely and the temperature has dropped significantly out here. So got my snacks. Now I'm heading back to the hotel and probably just relax the rest of the night. So the next time I film will be in the morning at the interview. So it's freezing out, but luckily it is a gorgeous day. Um, I'm headed to the interview right now. And I left my baggage with the bellhop and I'll get it when I come back from the interview and go straight to the airport. So wish me luck. All right, so we are back at the airport and I just got here and got a notification on my phone that my flight is delayed two and a half hours. So it looks like we have some good luck lately. Quick little update here. I am going to the closest lounge I can find to take a quick nap because I'm so tired. And I have like another three and a half hours until I actually get on the plane. So I'll catch you when I wake up. Okay, so the interview went really well today. Um, this program is pretty much completely solid across the board. They do a little bit of everything, some vascular work. They do tons of oncology work, tons of dialysis work, um, drains, the usual bread and butter IR, pretty much everything. And I think they are well-trained and they produce some pretty talented uh, fellows and new attendings going forward. So that was a pretty good program, pretty happy with it. I hope they like me, I like them and I feel like I got along with a lot of the attendings and fellows, and hopefully they rank me high. And as for me, I am officially in my suite. I'm going to take an hour nap because I am super tired. I woke up at like 5 a.m. And when you do an interview, you're kind of on the whole time from like 7 a.m. until 4 p.m. is when this one finished. So you kind of have to be on the whole time, happy, smiling, talking to everybody, make sure you actually look like you enjoy it and want to be there. So it can be pretty exhausting at times. So for me, I'm gonna take a quick hour long nap and hopefully I wake up and don't miss my delayed flight. So I will see you in an hour. So change of plans. Uh, my flight actually got bumped back another hour. So it's now only delayed like an hour or so. So I'm going to the gate right now trying to get on that flight. Apparently it's super windy, that's why it's silly, but I'm just trying to get home sometimes. Finally boarded and down my own road, even though I still don't have that much room. So as you can see, there are tons of people at the airport right now. And it is about midnight, and I'm about to get in my car, drive home as fast as possible, and go to sleep. So I will see you guys on the next interview.